here with legendary investigative journalist Greg Palast. The first week of our show, he was telling us about the real story of what the prosecutor thing is all about, Tim Griffin, caging lists, some new words that you may not have known. The second week, talk about clout. He meets with John Conyers, and he comes on the show and says, hey, Tim Griffin quit, and clearly because of Greg Palast's appearance on clout with Richard Green here on Air America. Last week, vulture funds, Greg Palast, what is this week? have in store. Well, Congressman Conyers has just issued a subpoena to Ms. Harriet Myers. Harriet. The, Harriet. The Supreme Court justice not. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, so now she's in injustice, if not injustice. Uh, Harriet Myers. Who the heck is Harriet Myers? Now, this is a woman who was nominated for the Supreme Court a couple of years ago by our Supreme Leader, Mr. George. And everyone said, Harriet Myers, uh, who? Of all, the, of all the lawyers in the United States of America to pick to, to wear the robes, right? Because she loves George Bush, said that he was one of the smartest men she ever met, and has carried water for him for how many years? Hey, but you know, Carl Rove will put on that same dress and say the same thing. So, there was, so why though Harriet Myers? Okay. Why Harriet Myers? Okay, uh, why she was subpoenaed is pretty clear, is because she was the hit woman working with Tim Griffin. That was the guy we identified in the last punch of clout. Uh, as uh, picking out the prosecutors sh who should be fired because they weren't doing the nasty for the Republican Party. And, and the as nasty means delivering the White House in 2008. House, playing games with the voter rolls, etc. Now, but who is Myers and why should she get the robes? And why was she even in the position to say, to, to point the deadly finger at prosecutors and say, you're out, you're out, you're out. I mean, that's pretty heavy. Normally, that's left to the attorney general, but that's in a democracy. Um, in, in this I, I case, he's in trouble as well. Yeah, but, you know, he doesn't, he's the glove puppet. You know, they might have to get rid of him and find someone else to, to, for Karl Rove to stick his hands in the finger holes. Who is Harriet Myers? And that, tell, that's tell our lesson today. Why is she being okay, subpoenaed? Okay, she is, technically she's being subpoenaed because she is the woman who, who did, in fact, finger each of the eight U.S. attorneys to be fired. Now, that should be done by the attorney general. First of all, they shouldn't be fired if they're doing a good job and they're honest. But if they're going to be removed, that should be done by the attorney general. And secondly, and secondly why should the president's lawyer be doing that? That's kind of fishy, right? Uh, well, that's why she's being subpoenaed by the United States Congress. Right. And in part because of the material we've put forward. Because, see, we talked about Tim Griffin, who's one of the people doing the, the fingering. And his crony in that was Harriet Myers. Griffin himself got himself appointed by Myers... Uh, at Meyer's insistence, at Karl Rove's insistence, he was, he was if you remember, uh, Karl Rove's right-hand man or right-claw man, whatever, whatever you say about his, his digits. And um, so we ended up with Tim Griffin being appointed U.S. Attorney for Arkansas. But then after our program and the material that was released uh, and, and Conyers asking for our information, uh, which was right in the book, Our Madhouse, uh, and he asked for the information from myself and BBC. I met with him. and Showing and the caging list. Showing hard caging evidence. List, which is evidence that Tim Griffin was involved in vote fixing. Right. Okay. At that very moment, um, uh, well, within hours, Tim Griffin resigned as United States Attorney. Okay, so bring us to now, today. What's going now, on now? Now his, his partner in, I won't say crime, partner in fingering the the good guys is like Harriet Myers. The but the question is, attorneys. but but the question that that I can answer that that uh, your U.S. press uh, cannot answer is how did Harriet Myers get in this position? How did she get designated to even wear the robes? Because just ten short years ago, ten short years ago, she was the head of the Texas Lottery. Now, how do you go from the Texas Lottery, you know, like Powerball, to the United States Supreme Court nomination? The answer is Vietnam. What? Now follow me here. Uh, okay. In the book, yeah, Our take, Madhouse. Take a little left turn here. <laughs> okay. okay. Whoa, a little so history. So Texas, the lottery, Vietnam, Vietnam, the White House, 
There was, okay. you know, for some of you who don't remember, and I know George wants to forget this in the White House, there was a war in a far-off land called Vietnam. Did he serve in that war? Yes, he did. He, in fact, was in the, in the Texas Air National Guard. And for, he, uh, as a, as a jet fighter when he, pilot, whenever he wanted to, right? right? At, at, he, was a, he was a fighter pilot in the Texas Air National Guard, so fearsome <laughs> that the Viet Cong did not dare attack Houston. Okay, it's so he served out, but he was about guy. he was about to be drafted. He was about to be drafted. All his friends at Yale were drafted, but not him. He got into the Texas National Guard as a as a fighter pilot. Now, how do you do that over literally thousands of applicants? Well, he had to take a test. Right. Uh, well, he scored in the twenty sixth percentile out of a hundred, which is a little bit higher than than you know the uh, Pet Rock, and but he still got the job as the Top Gun. Now he got that because Daddy Bush Daddy made a call. Daddy to a guy named Ben Barnes, who was the lieutenant governor. Barnes had one of his minions call the air guard and say, Congressman Bush's son's son is a little bit nervous about going to Vietnam. He's allergic to, to the jungle <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, he, and bullets, bullets and blood, blood right? Example, and yeah. so he, he wants to be instead a fighter pilot in someplace safe. So he got the job. Now, of course, doing that is, one, creepy. Now, where's Harriet Myers and all Okay, this? wait, we're not done yet. Well, come on, you, cannot, you cannot. I can't so, wait. Okay, you, if you think that you can get your, your little boy out of the war in Vietnam, especially if you are a senator. And by the way, his daddy was a uh, congress. No, no, wait. Oh, he, was, he was a congressman of a senator. He was congressman of a senator. Uh, Prescott Bush. He right, was, was the his, son of a senator. He was a grandson of, of, a, of a senator, right, Prescott Bush. Bush. Okay, Prime right. Family is right, so they voted for the war in Vietnam, and they, now they're getting their kid out of the war. How does that, so they, the, the call was made. Now Bush runs for governor, he becomes governor. 1997. The guy who did the fix, Ben Barnes, and by the way, I have this because I have their internal letters and, and letters from the files. And this is all in secret file. Madhouse. That's yes, part, right? it's right in our Madhouse. You can actually see the uh, secret files from the U.S. Department of Justice, which was handed the information, and the investigation was killed off. How did that happen? What happened was, is that in 1997, the Justice Department was out about to investigate. At that point, the are we going to get to Harriet Myers? Yeah, we're going to get to Harriet Myers. The end of the w watch this. We're okay. going to we're going to end up. The last two words will be <laughs> Harriet. Here the last two words. Richard Green and Greg Pallas are regular are guests. Harriet Myers, keep it right okay. down. Okay. Harriet okay. Myers. I hope, I hope everybody. <laughs> people are sitting in their cars, you know, idling. They've already arrived at their destination. Over. Get to I don't the want point. You to drive while you're listening to this, because okay. I want Go you to take notes. All right. So what happened was, is that Ben Barnes, who did the fix to keep him silent wasn't going to be a free ride. His